hello and ni hao. This is business life in China. Today we are about to watch an interview with Chris Rawlings. Do the launch was founded based on Chris's experience bootstrapping his previous business, a successful $1.4 million online health brand. Chris holds a degree in physics from Rutgers University in New Jersey. Chris was a participant in two accelerator programs, China Accelerator and 500 Startups. The interview with Chris is divided into three episodes. The first one is about Judo launch itself. We'll compare participation in China Accelerator and 500 Startups in the second one. The third episode is dedicated to Amazon's prospects in China. So let's watch the first one. Judo Launch, can you tell what does your company do? Yeah, so it's um, it's a launch company. The kind of the easiest way to understand it is like similar to Kickstarter, mm -hmm. but for like boring products instead of like cool stuff. Like Kickstarter is great for like um, an electric skateboard or a solar blender or something. But for us, we launch like regular stuff. Like we would launch a pack of these markers. In fact, we have. Mm -hmm. um, or we would launch like a supplement that you take every day, like vitamins. Um, we launch that kind of stuff. And it's not crowdfunding like Kickstarter. It doesn't pre-fund the fabrication of the product. It's after it's already ready to go. Then we just, our job is to just get hundreds or thousands of them into the hands of local customers as a marketing tool. So yeah, the thesis that we built the company off of is basically in today's environment, it's not about TV commercials. It's not about, about like billboards on the side of trucks or on the side of the street. It's about like just getting your hands into the hands of customers, your products into the hands of customers because they're the ones that ultimately market the product for you by posting online, by posting reviews, unboxing videos, all of that. So yeah. Okay. That's, that's yep. exactly that's what we do, and we've done a thousand launches so far in the year and a half that we've we've existed. Wow, so, nice. Yeah. It's Why cool. you decided to enter the Chinese market? Okay, so for us, one of the things about Judo Launch is that one market dynamic that we take advantage of is that back in the day, if you were to buy boring products like toothpaste or shampoo or like a knife set for your kitchen you would go to the grocery store and buy whatever brand you knew, mm -hmm. like whatever you saw a commercial about. But today, it's not about what you saw a commercial on TV about, it's about when you go on Amazon, what has the best reviews and what has the best price. Mm -hmm. So we ended up focusing on two very like, distinct demographics. It was like one, companies that build a product that's kind of niche, specific to a customer, because they're like a medium-sized business, that maybe they make like, these markers, but only for people who are left-handed, mm. you know, because they're a certain shape and that's a, a, dem, a niche demographic. So we, there's plenty of those in the US, yoga shoes for rock climbers or rock climbing shoes for yoga yogis or whatever, like very niche companies. And that was what we were doing. But we realized to take advantage of the price advantage folks, we could come and help Chinese manufacturers and sellers launch directly to the end consumer. Mm. And it's like a revolution here. Like yeah. there are a ton of suppliers, traders, manufacturers, and factories trying to access the consumer directly instead of selling to a middleman who then sells to them. Mm -hmm. So we came here to start selling more to them and we were getting organic orders from them without us even trying. Mm -hmm. So coming here was a way to kind of juice that, okay. that channel. And I'll say it's been harder than I expected. It really has been a struggle. Like it took a lot of resources and so far time and yeah so much time and like i can't say definitively that it's completely paid off yet like mm -hmm. we're still dumping resources into it and it is yet to be seen how broadly successful it will be to be honest with you yeah. so yeah we'll patience see. is what you need when you enter the chinese market oh dude i don't know because <laughs> they move so much faster than the rest of the world too that's all the other thing things happen so fast here it's like I was amazed to walk down the street and see people like with the WeChat QR code street mm -hmm. busking, like playing music in the streets, like possibly homeless, but they still have a QR code and like a phone to like accept your yeah. WeChat money. Like it's amazing. Yep. So if I clearly understood, 
You teach people and other companies how to sell stuff on Amazon? We don't teach them, but you we, help them we launch them. La yeah. You launch them to do it more e efficiently? Yeah, efficiently and efficiently. quicker. Yeah, and quicker. Yeah. 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 Do you have any competitors here and uh, like how, how are you different from them? Yeah, we do. So our main competitors are like agencies. Hmm. There are a ton of agencies. There are dozen agencies. Or yeah, yeah. Ad, ad agencies are specific like Amazon agencies because mm -hmm. right now we're focused only on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Like in the future, we will branch out to all major online marketplaces. But right now, we're just laser focused on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's a ton of agencies. And then here in China, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like black hat companies that mm -hmm. do uh, that use tactics that are either straight up illegal or against Amazon's terms of service. Um, in order to launch and do the same types of things that, that we do. Uh, so yeah, so we, we're we billed as the only like scalable way, being that we're not an agency. Mm -hmm. We do have a human component to what we do because we do and now we, we have analysts that provide like launch recommendations and consulting mm -hmm. and strategy and stuff. So there is a human component still, but uh, we're mostly based in like our software and automation. So that's that's one way that we're different, that we're scalable, different than an agency. And then the way that we're different from like the black hat software companies is that we we uh, comply with mm -hmm. the terms and laws. Okay. So yeah, that's basically yeah. When you help people to sell smarter, sm uh, sell quicker on Amazon, do you promise any certain results or how it works? What is the business model? Will they pay according to the performance? Yeah. So the way that we do it is no, we don't guarantee results, and we get paid upfront. So it's a pretty good cash flow <laughs> model for us. Yeah. But we we are transparent about mm -hmm. our success rate. And I can even tell you it right now. Like mm -hmm. our launch success rate is 89%. Oh, so that's great. It, yeah, and, I, and I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, one out of 10 people who launch with us will not have a successful launch. And that's kind of the reality of the story. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that we can't guarantee results is because there's so many things that factors that go into having a successful launch, especially a long-term successful one, that we can't control. Mm -hmm. So we do do some vetting and we have a, a moderation period on our launch, our launch platform. So mm -hmm. when somebody books a launch on our platform, there is actually a human that reviews it like within a couple hours and approves it. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's like a really crappy product, clearly, or it seems that they can't deliver on their promises or they're making like absurd promises, then that, that launch is not approved. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that, that helps us to increase our conversion rate, uh, awesome. our, our success rate. Because then if it's really bad, mm -hmm. we just won't launch you. Mm -hmm. Like you get a refund and go. And those, you said one of 10 will not be successful. Why you think they're not su successful? Because they use nobody interested in shit or why? The, the main thing is, the main reason usually is either uh, product quality or price. Mm. So they thought they could price too high and maybe they had like a, a launch that was successful very briefly. Like mm. they got a lot of visibility and they got a lot of customers like early on, but then they couldn't maintain the traction because their conversion rate was so low. Mm. So they might have had good visibility and all of that, but then, you know, they're trying to charge like 10 bucks per marker when the next best competitor is charging 50 cents. And so everyone who comes to their marker listing and sees, oh, it's got all these great qualities, but cost customers who bought this also bought or customers who viewed this item ended up buying, and that's actually a, a field. Customers yeah. who viewed this item ended up buying this mm -hmm. and they see this one, the 50 cent <laughs> one, they're gonna be like, okay, screw that. I'm gonna buy the one that's for 50 cents. Of course. Yeah. So yeah, so those that's stuff that we just can't control. We, mm -hmm. we do advise them. like. The analyst that reviews the launch will say, okay, your pricing is way out of average, way mm -hmm. out of the normal. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's the stuff that's being done manually right now. But with the round of funding that we're raising right now, all mm -hmm. of that will be automated. Can you share more about this, how much you're raising and what is the stage? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're raising our seed round of funding right now, what we're calling our seed round. Um, we're raising $1.5 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're 68% of the way through it. And uh, hopefully, just in the next couple of weeks, we'll be closing it up. Yeah, yeah, finished. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have any special offers for the viewers? If they will like after this interview, if they want you to help them to sell quicker on Amazon, 
Yeah, definitely. Um, if anybody is trying to sell on Amazon or trying to accelerate sales on Amazon, uh, we our, our team regularly cranks these out for like special partners like you, Simon. Mm -hmm. um, so if you if you are trying to accelerate sales or start selling on Amazon, we can do an analysis of your store and basically give you like the time of our expert consultants who do this day in day out mm -hmm. that you know you don't know <laughs> like mm -hmm. so you'll get like an analysis on your storefront for free and, yeah okay yeah and nice and, and it'll include a launch analysis that mm -hmm. would say you know if you want to do a launch through us mm -hmm. here's what you would do to get to a certain level um but you're not under any obligation to do so be to go through two accelerator programs was really interesting because yeah. they are very different but a lot of aspects are the same like first time i ever touched down in china alone i cried in the airport it's like 10 days of like you're just getting hammered with your batchmates because <laughs> china accelerator and five of them startups so, so here's a little insider knowledge